All right, so my name's Jared, and I'm just going to give you a rundown on how to process a lamb four quarter. So the first thing I've done there is I've just gone straight down the middle to split it in half, and then just slowly there I've just taken out that little bit of fat there. You don't have to do this. I just find that you do this now at the start. You don't have to trim it off later. So the first chops I'm cutting here are round bone chops. Now you'll generally get between four and five round bone chops before you're cutting too much into that shoulder there, into that ball joint. And then if you turn it around, you'll be able to get your actual four quarter chops. So the same again, same thickness, and you're just gonna work along and you're gonna roughly get about six to seven. This will depend on how fatty the actual four quarter is, whether or not that last chop's gonna be a sacrifice and you'll get trimmed out. Just nook out that little bit of fat underneath and then move on to slicing off a face cut. Now the reason we take a face cut off is just to get rid of that dry edge and to square it up so that when we've broken it, it hasn't been perfect, then that will neaten it up. And then continue on to the other side of round bone chops and it'll be the same process again. You cut your four to five depending on the size of the four quarter and then moving on, you either take a face cut off if you haven't already done it or you'll continue on to cut your six to seven chops. Now as you do cut your chops, if you do slightly angle them back towards you so you're not cutting into that neck as much, you'll just gain that little bit more meat on your chop and then I can just nook off the end there if I want to sell that there as a neck. As you see there, I've got one neck that's going to be just trimmed out and one just as a reference that you can sell it as an actual neck. Now you don't have to, you can square that end off there and then sell it as a whole neck or you can trim it out completely for sausage trim. Now moving on to prepping your chops. So this is pretty important. So if any apprentices are learning to actually get the correct face, your round bone chops essentially will split in half. So if you've cut four chops, they will split right down the middle and that will lay the correct face. Then it's just a matter of cleaning off that bone dust. Now you can either use a bone scraper or a clean rag. I personally prefer a clean rag. I feel it gets a lot better end result, but that will be up to your actual boss or the business that you work for. Now if you were doing this at home, in the shed or the garage, there's no need to wipe off that bone dust. It is fit for human consumption and it's purely just a presentation in the window to make it look a bit nicer and it stops the discolouring if it's on display. Now similarly to the round bone chops, I find that with the four quarter chops to get that good and bad face, I'll do the same thing as the round bone chop, but instead of splitting it in the middle, I'll generally split three from the fattier or the longer tailed end to one way and then the rest will fall the opposite direction. Then moving on to trimming. So with your four quarter chop, there's not too much you want to cut off of it. You realistically want to do as minimal amount of trimming as possible as the more trimming you do leads to more wastage. But the one thing in my opinion that you can't go past on trimming the four quarter chop is taking that paddy whack out, which you can see there I'm just nooking off the corner. The rest of the chop is not overly fatty and it doesn't need to be trimmed. And some customers will prefer you leave all fat on, but that will be a custom request. So then at that point, you'll just do what they've asked. And then the round bone chop will be even simpler. Ideally, you won't have to trim off the round bone chop at all. By taking that first little nook of fat off when we were cutting it on the saw has avoided any trimming on the underneath of the actual round bone chop. All right, so just to trim up this lamb neck, if you were gonna sell it in the window, you just take a little bit of that extra fat off just to neaten it up and tidy it up a little bit. So then to trim out the lamb neck there, you just take out the little knuckle bone, then scallop out the meat and more or less remove the fat from the neck. The hardest part will be just following around this actual neck bone as the bones do zigzag in and out. But with practice, you'll get that down pretty pat. And then it's just a matter of trimming up these face cuts and removing the small amounts of bone that I did have left on those. And all those off cuts will just go into sausages or a lamb mince, depending on what's needed in the shop at the time. So because I don't need this lamb neck, I will trim it out. So once again, zigzagging around that bone, that trim will all be ready to go into sausages. And then the way I like to lay them out on display is have it so the round bone chop itself is in the center and then the tail of the four quarter chops in the center also. That way the customer gets the best display of the chop before they actually buy. Now this is subject to the boss's discretion. Some shops do like to display them the opposite way and you'll obviously just follow the way that shop runs. 